What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Play Arts Kai action figure review on the variant Spider-Man. If you're trying to pick this up, you can pick it up at Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Very cool looking packaging over here and very glossy packaging with the Play Arts Kai. I like the silver right here for the text and everything. Get this nice vibrant blue in the city in the background. It looks really cool, very good artwork. And on the side over here, you get this darker red bleeding into a lighter red. On the back, you can see the figure in black and white photos, a colored picture right there. On the other side, you can see more of the city and everything, and some webbing, not much at the top or the bottom. You can go ahead and open this up. It's held together with magnets, and then you can see the figure right over there, and then you can see another photo, and then there's a read-up. If you want to read it, pause it now. Yeah, there's quite a bit to read. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Spider-Man out of the packaging, and I think this is a very cool figure. I like the design of it. There's some parts of the design I don't really like so much, but for the most part, I think they did a really good job with it. I think it looks very cool. Great paint apps on this thing. I really like the articulation a lot. I posed this a lot before shooting the segment. Had nothing break on me, no issues with the quality control. I really like the accessories a lot too. So anyway, let's take a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at Spider-Man. First off, looking at the stand. This is your standard issue Play Arts Kai stand over here with this clear plastic and you can adjust this right up over here and you get two different clamps that you can attach to the figure if you wish. You get this larger one. I like using the smaller one for Spidey. It fits around his waist pretty nice. And then you have to put these screws in together and everything like that and you use this little tool right over here. Uh, the directions on the inside of the packaging explain all that so it's pretty easy. You know, it's not very difficult. You get this stand base thing. There's no pegs or anything like that so it's just a cool looking stand which I don't really mind having at all. I just don't know exactly how you're supposed to use it with the figure, just have them standing on it, I guess. But really nice silver and black paint right there with that shaded blue. That looks really good. And then you get this webbing, which I really like a lot. You get this pearlescent white, and then you get this really reflective blue. You get some gray right over there for the color variation. So he has one web swinging one. Doesn't have any plugs or anything like that, like the other webbing. Very nice translucent plastic. Then you have this big wide open one over here, which I think is really cool. Nice pearlescent white paint. Nice blue paint over here too. Nice shadowing and everything. That looks really good. And then you have these webs. These are the swinging or the thwipping webs, I'm going to call them. And these look really good also. Very, very nice colors on these. I really like them a lot. And you also get these web globs over here, which I think are very cool too. These are very helpful. And then he has all these different hands. So you get this web shooting hand right over here. And then you get this other web shooting hand where it doesn't have the attachment to it. So it's just posed for web shooting, but this one, the web's actually firing out. So you could use one of the thwipping webs and plug it right into there. And then take one of these glob webs and then plug it right there. So now you get like a complete looking web, which I think is very cool. Or you could remove this and attach this right there if you want to, so you can get that look going if you wish. Or you can just plug these directly into the web shooting hands, so you can have that go in. And of course you can do the same thing to this wide open one as you saw earlier, so that's all really good. You get these wall crawling hands, and all the hands have some very nice silver paint on them, nice black shading on them. Then you get these web grabbing hands right there, and then you get your fisted hands. Now the head sculpt on Spider-Man is sculpted out very nicely. Actually, I think the whole thing is sculpted out very well. I really love that gun metal silver looking paint that we're getting right there for the eye sockets. All those web pieces are sculpted right there so you have all those seams in the red. Nice black shading on the red as well. That just looks really good and I love that they used silver paints for the cobweb design. That just looks so cool. To be honest with you, I'm just gushing over this thing. I don't think there's a whole lot that really needs to be said. I just really love how this silver and black looks right over there. I really love that web design, the blue with the shading, and you get different colors of blue. I guess the one downside to it is you could say it's probably too busy. It doesn't really bother me so much though because this is an original concept right here, so you might as well go nuts. I really love that they used a soft material right here for the upper torso and for his little waist piece, which we will look at in a second. This pliable material over here makes it very easy for him to get into poses, so that works out great for this figure. Looking at the arms over here, look really nice. Yeah, you can see the ball joints right there, which could be a problem for some people, but they don't really stick out so much to me when I have the figure posed. 
then here's that waist piece I had mentioned which is also soft and you get the hard plastic right here for the lower torso this looks really good man nice little pattern right over here that's all sculpted in there just looks really nice I just love the paint on this it's just really cool I guess I'm not a huge fan of this little rib section right there but I don't know compared to all the other stuff I'm seeing on it I just think it looks great the legs look really good on here too Dang. Now, one thing I don't really like so much are the boots. I don't like it when Spidey has boots and you get these treads right here at the bottom of his feet, which are appropriate for having the boots, but I prefer, you know, just the flat soles for Spider-Man and his wall crawling adventures, you know what I mean? Then looking on the back right here, it's just really well done. Dang, man. You know, I really like Play Art Sky a lot. I just don't really collect them so much, not because I don't think that they're a good brand. It's just that I don't have shelf space, you know? You guys I've been watching for a while. You tell me where I'm supposed to put all these Play Arts Kai's that are coming out, you know what I mean? I just don't have space for them. So for the most part, the figure has really good articulation, but there's some parts where I wish it was a little bit better. For instance, the head cannot look up as much as I'd like it to. I mean, that's still pretty far, but I would like it to look up even more than that, you know? I'm kind of spoiled. Uh, you can get the neck and the head joint to both move down very far, though, and you get side-to-side -side movement right here at the head and you do get some head pivot right there shoulder joints move outward that much and you can rotate them forward I do wish he had an armpit joint that would be kind of nice he also has a bicep swivel over here you do get a bend right there at the elbow you get rotation right here at the top of the forearm you get swivel right here at the wrist and the wrists hinge up and down or you could swivel it around and make them go in and out you do get a diaphragm joint over here that rotates side to side kind of get this weird shifting thing over here with this ab crunch you can get it to move backwards then and when you try moving it forward from there you get this weird gap so you have to like put it back into place and then move it forward and it does not move as much forward as I would like it to but it still does crunch and you do get some pivot right up here as well you want to make sure that these little points right here are all tucked above the hard plastic piece and we also get a waist joint over here that does rotate side to side you do get pivot and it does crunch so you can get that crunching motion at the waist too you do get these hip joints that move outward only that much I wish they can move outward more than than that he does kick very very high you can get him kicking all the way up like that and all the way back too dang and you get a little bit of swivel right there at the hip you also get a swivel above the knee you get double jointed knees in here that bend in all the way so that's really good you also get rotation right here at the ankle the ankle hinges down and it moves up you do get ankle pivot and you do get toe articulation now this being a play arts kai figure this spider-man is standing at about ten and a half inches tall then here's play arts kai spider-man next to two of my favorite spider-man figures we have the hot toys amazing spider-man 2 spidey and the mcfarlane toy Spider-Man. Thank you, Cheap Punkas. And then here's Spider-Man next to my Play Arts Kai Arkham City Batman figure. And you can see there's a huge size difference between these two. I think because this guy's based off of the video game and this is a variant figure over here. This being my first variant figure. So I'm assuming all the variants are having this height to them. Then here's Play Arts Kai Spider-Man next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey, brother. Nice duds. But you know what you're missing? Yep. Needs more green. Yeah, what? It oh, ah! Now one thing about this figure is that the joints are very clickety ratchety type joints so especially on the ankles over here I felt like it made it a little difficult getting him in this pose which I don't think is an incredibly dynamic pose but otherwise I like the design I think the paint came out great really good figure and if you like this design I totally recommend it and I hope you guys liked my review if you did please hit the like button click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shark in your face for those of you that want the big time letdown spider-man collages to come back if I get 20 more patrons in the next few days pledging at least one dollar a month i'll put it out there publicly but you have to be at least 18 years or older to be a patron and i hope you guys follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and also go to marvelousnews.com for a full photo gallery of images from this review i took a lot of pictures of this guy so please check those out all right i'll catch you guys later peace And then you, <clears throat> then you also get these, you also get these, then you also get these web, then you also get.